Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ernest here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I've got a 20 piece set from a majorette release. Um, it's one of France's uh, major die cast manufacturer. It's a French brand. Um, I quite like them. They're always pretty detailed and um, they do a lot of releases, uh, different categories as well. They've got the basics, the premiums, and then the ultra premiums with the much better packaging like green light. So let's go ahead and see what uh, cars we have in the box today. I can see some Audis, I can see a Ford uh, GT, I can see a Volkswagen Beetle, Chevy Camaro, a Jeep Rubicon, and a couple of Lamborghini Aventadors. Okay, let's go ahead and get them out of the box. I thought I'll do a quick close up before I get them out of the box. And I've also got the turntable ready. So I'll put them on the turntable one by one. Okay guys, that's the cars out of the box. Um, it's a beautifully packed hexagon shaped box. It's more like a pizza box. I've just got the box open here. Um, and just in case anyone wanted to look at the back, that's the back of it. It's a hexagon shaped cardboard packaging with the little carry handle as well. Like a carry pack. Just looking at the cars, guys, these guys are pretty smart. They've managed to put doubles of uh, two or three models. They've got uh, three Audis, uh, three Jeep Rubicons, they've got uh, three Volkswagen Beetles, obviously different colors, but the same model or similar model. And they've got a couple of, one's a buggy car kind of thing. Uh, they've got f two Ford GTs and they've got a trailer as well. And then another trolley or a cart with a few goods on it. All right, let's look at them one by one. All right, guys, I put the first buggy on the turntable. Um, slightly disappointed because... I love majorette cars, I'd rather they pack some premium or good releases, not this silly buggy looking car, but any which way. And these smarty pants ended up putting two of these with different color and livery. So I thought I'll get the boring ones out of the way first and then look at some decent cars. So that's the first one. I'm going to get the next one out of the pack, get this out of the way. It's the same model, just a different color scheme and livery. Okay, get this off. It doesn't really have a name down the bottom to see what they're called. It just says made in Thailand, so it looks to me like a buggy car, like on the golf courses. That's why I'm just calling it a buggy car. Then they've been generous in giving us a trailer as a vehicle. But I really doubt any other cars in the pack have any tow bars. We can find out. trailer off all right they've given us this uh, luggage cart it's got like a whole heap of suitcases and that one's got a mini tow bar as well so let's see if any of the vehicles have any tow bars if you guys can see it All right, let's move on to some 
proper vehicles. I might just do them um, series by series. Oh, they've got a standalone. Um, I'm guessing it's a Citroen. Yep. Well, it's a French brand. Obviously, they got to highlight their own brands as well of cars. That's a French Citroen Twinco right there, guys. Pretty neat. These guys always make sure they have the brand logos, the side mirrors, the front headlights, mostly in plastic, which is impressive. And in some cases, uh, taillights as well in plastic, but this one's just got paint. But I quite like Majorette Cars as being one of my favorite brands growing up and collecting. So, never have any issues with these cars. I've got the basics, I've got the premiums, and I've got the ultra premiums as well. When I say ultra, they're just packaged in a fancy packaging with the blister packaging, and they've also got amazing colors and liveries on them. Um, hopefully, I've got a fair few of those, so when I get a chance, when I get a turn, I can try and do more unboxing videos. Okay, so there's uh, four Audis, three Jeep Rubicons, and three Volkswagen Beetles, two Ford GTs, and two Lamborghini Aventadors, and one Chevy Camaro. So I might just try and get the Chevy out, because that's like a standalone like this Citroen. So let me just swap this one with the Chevy Camaro. Okay, that's the Camaro. Looks beautiful. Plastic headlights, painted taillights. All right, let's put him on the turntable. Okay, now let's move on to the German Volkswagen Beetles. They look similar, but then again, they kind of look different. I know the wheels are different and the colors are different, but let's see. In some of these majorettes, they also have moving parts, like you can open the doors or the bonnet or even the hood, the trunk. But this one's just a fully closed vehicle. All right, let's start looking at the Volkswagen, German Volkswagen Beetles. I was wrong about the Audis, guys. They've actually got four Audis. All right, let's get to it, but I'm going to start putting the Volkswagens. And like I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago, you can look at the bonnet or the hood that's actually a moving part. All right, I popped the hood, guys. And guess what? The engine's missing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty decent. I quite like it. They're actually like six or seven dollars each, but this one was pretty good deal. The whole thing should have costed about one twenty, but I got it for fifty nine ninety nine, so I'm not complaining. So there's two more Volkswagen Beetles. I'm gonna put them on the turntable as well, so you guys can have a look. Next one is a red one. All right, that's the car with the bonnet open as well. Um, looks pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the last Volkswagen Beetle in this box, in this 20-piece set. 
Um, I've just noticed one more thing. The tires are not actually rubber. They're just plastic. Next one's a green color one. And this one's got the same opening part bonnet as well. Okay, I'm going to put those four GTs now on the turntable. I've got them in two color schemes, uh, yellow and purple. Let's put the yellow one first. That's the car right there. Four GT. Tail lights, exhaust. Side mirrors, plastic, headlights, pretty good. Okay, I'll put the purple one now. Purple looks way better, if you ask me, but each one to their own, I guess. Oh, they've got a nice Ford logo. That's the good thing about Majorette. Pretty detailed. Okay, okay, let's keep moving on. Uh, I've got those three Jeep Rubicon models. Uh, two of them look similar, but the other one's got a bit of a roof on top. And no, so two haven't got roofs. The other one's got a roof, so let's put them on the turntable. That's the one with the roof, guys, Rubicon. They've given it a military color scheme or maybe even olive green. Okay, move on to the next one. It's a beautiful fluorescent green. Light green without the roof. Okay, the last of the Rubicon models is a, I don't know, teal green, turquoise, um, some sort of blue as well. But pretty awesome, guys. If you get the taillights painted, they got the spare tire wheel, uh, chrome wheels, 
Rubicon livery on the sides, side mirrors, beautiful grill, Jeep logo. And then you can see the headlights, both made out of plastic. So that's why Majora stands out. Okay, let's move on to the, I'm just thinking guys, there's four Audis and there's two Lamborghinis. Maybe I'll get the Lamborghinis out of the way. This one is a Lamborghini Aventador. Made in Thailand. Pretty neat. Tail lights, logo, side mirrors, logo in the front, plastic headlights. I'm not complaining. Okay, I'll move the uh, purple one onto the turntable now. I don't know about you guys, but I love purple. That's just beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the last four Audis. Um, I've got yellow, black, green, and a nice shade of blue. I'll put the black one on first. That's the Audi. They've also got a little chrome dot on the fuel tank cover. Logo taillights. Side mirrors, not a lot of detailing on the inside. The beautiful plastic headlights, the Audi logo and a chrome grill. Looks beautiful. So they've given us two convertibles and two uh, regular coupes. So the black ones are convertible. I'll put a regular coupe now. That's the blue one I was talking about.
Audi R8. Simply beautiful. Okay, I'll put the yellow coupe now. So they're all Audi R8s, just different color schemes. And this one's the regular coupe. Okay, the last one in today's unboxing video is another Audi R8 green, and this one's a convertible. Overall, quite happy with the set, guys. I might have to spend some time putting some chrome on the mirrors, side mirrors, but otherwise, and exhaust. But otherwise, pretty happy with these Majorette cars. Uh, they always seem to do a fantastic job. Only disappointed with those uh, initial vehicles that they put in, those two buggies, a trailer, and a luggage cart. Uh, but otherwise, pretty happy with the Citroen, Camaro, Volkswagen Beetles, Ford GTs, uh, Rubicon, Jeep Rubicons, uh, Lamborghini Aventadors, and Audi R8s. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll just do a quick uh, mini tour of what all we've seen in today's unboxing video. All right, guys, that's the box or what's left of it. Once again, that was today's unboxing video. Nice carry pack. Uh, hexagon shaped cardboard packaging box. That's the back. And today's video, we've seen these vehicles, um, the two buggies, the trailer, a luggage cart, a Citroen, a Chevy Camaro, two Ford GTs, three Volkswagen Beetles, uh, three Jeep Rubicons, two Lamborghini Aventadors, and four Audi R8s. Two convertibles and two coupes. I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video. Uh, continue to like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and i'll see you guys in the next video stay blessed and god bless you all and your families